I'm putting it on, this is a good concealer for, I mean, primer for people who just have regular skin. If you have problematic skin, then you would want to use something that's more hydrating, like a Fenty concealer, or maybe this Milk Hydrating Primer. It's good for dry skin, but her skin's very normal, so I'm just going to use this. It's a silicone base primer. Put it all over. And then, uh, this foundation is really good. It's the MAC Pro Longwear, the Studio Fix Fluid. Um, it's only about $27 in the store, and it'll last you about six months if you use it wisely. And you only need about this much, a drop, not too much. Ooh. And then I just dot it all over her face. And then instead of a beauty blender, which is very popular, I use this sponge, Sonia Kushik. You get two for $10 at Target, so it's very affordable, and it works better, a lot better. Since that wasn't enough, I'll do another layer. And just do the same thing over again. And the main thing with makeup is you want it to blend in. So if your makeup doesn't match your neck, then just keep blending it. Even if it's the wrong color, if you have the right concealer or powder, you can fix a foundation that's not correct. So you wanna make sure you get into every crease, up on the forehead, on the neck and the chin. Okay, so now So now that her foundation is all blended out, we take concealer. So this today I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty concealer. It's shade 360. Um, you can use the Maybelline Age Ageless Rewind concealer as well, or you can use LA Girl concealer. They're about, LA Girl's about $2 in the store, so it's very inexpensive and it works just the same. But for her, this color matches a little bit better than the LA Girl I brought. And then I put that under her eyes, like a triangle. Put it on her chin to highlight her chin, her forehead, and down her nose. And you can put it on the upper lip if you want to hide anything. And then I just let it dry for like two seconds because once you let concealer dry, it gets a little more tacky so that it's easier to blend and it covers a little better. So just let it dry for like two seconds and then look up. blend everything out and concealer sometimes takes the longest to blend but it's the thing that's going to make your makeup look the most seamless if you don't blend it well then you'll just look like a clown like you'll just have everything everywhere and you want to get it right under the eye because the eye crease is the worst so that's where you'll notice makeup moving like settling and over time and then what I usually do is take the side of the blender that I already used for the foundation and just go back into And then what I like to do is, I like to use two concealers. I'm a little extra. So this one is the MAC Studio Fix, and this is in shade NC43. 
and this will just brighten under her eyes a little more. Just a dot. Just a little bit, just a little on the tip of her nose, just to brighten it up. Because once you contour, a lot of that found that concealer is going to disappear. You won't be able to see anything. So look at the So then, so we're halfway done, almost done. Next we do the bronzer. So this is another MAC bronzer. This is their darkest deep in their mineralized skin finish. And turn your head. And all you do is start at the tip what, by your ear and just work the powder in. Right on your cheekbone. And if you don't know where your cheekbone's in, just suck your face in like a little fish and you'll be able to find it. That's the easiest way. And this brings back a whole bunch of color to her face. And then turn her face up. Just keep working it in. And you want to make sure not to rub your brush because then you can rub the, the foundation that's underneath that's not set in. So you just want to set that. Then you want to do contour on the forehead to warm it up. So when you do contour, it's going to be like a big three. You start, turn your head that way. You start from the forehead and go down to the cheeks, and then you bring it down to the neck, so that everything blends seamlessly. Then you also can chisel your jawline. You want to make sure you also blend your makeup into your ears if your ears are showing, so that you don't look like two different people. <laughs> And then you want to contour, if you want to, you don't have to, some people do, some people don't, you contour your nose, just go down the sides of your nose. Brushes are very inexpensive. They're from Morphe. They're all about three to six dollars each. So you can get a whole brush set for like under a hundred dollars if you want. If you want to have brushes, a whole bunch. Like this cost me one fifty for all these in the case. Close your eyes. So then, once you take your bronzer, you can go into the crease of your eyes if you're not wearing eyeshadow, just to warm up your eyes and give it a little pop, so that it blends seamlessly. And then also what I like to do, some people don't like it, I like to have a little button nose. So I do right on top of the, the nose. Then I also go in with my Fenty Beauty. It's her um, bronzer. It just gives it a little more red undertones to make it look like a tan. You don't have to use too much, just gives a little more pop. All right, so next for highlight, I have this Laura Mercier 
It's um, almost a, it's a setting powder, but you can also use it as a highlighter. This one's for deeper skin tones, and it's really fine and loose. So you just tap it off and do the sides, and it's very golden. It's very golden, so it won't even look like it won't look as dark as it does in the container. And you can put some on the nose just to give it a little shine. And since I'm extra, I'm gonna go in with this Bobbi Brown. This Bobbi Brown highlight. This one's very iridescent, so it'll shine a little more. You can use this one if it's wet, if it's dry. This is a little pricey, but this, I've had it for about three years now, so it lasts a really long time. And then also, you can use your highlight on your eyes as well, instead of having to do eyeshadow for guys. Just gives it a little, it does a, just a little something. So it takes like two seconds. I know it's a lot of highlight, but you know, everybody doesn't have to use highlight. Young kids, we like highlighter, so put a little Fenty highlight on her nose just to make this pop a little more. All right, and then one thing that I do that a lot of people don't do, but it really makes a difference, if you take a big powder brush and then a compact um, powder, and you just go in there, close your eyes, part, and you just buff everything out, So you just buff everything out. Everything you did, you just buff away. And it won't disappear, it won't go away. You just buff it all out. Buff everything. And then, last but not least, close your eyes. So I spray with this Morphe setting spray, it's about $16, but it's amazing. And then I just take the sponge again and just go back into her skin to hydrate it. And then, if you want to, you can go back in with a little highlight, you can go back in with anything, if you see anything disappear. So I just take the bronzer brush and use whatever was left on there just to bronze it up a little better. Deepen that bronzer. And then last but not least is a gloss. And you want to wipe your lips off. And then just do a simple lip gloss. This is Bittersweet Me by MAC. And so that nice plum gray. That's it. I mean, it's simple, but it's, it's not like a lot, but it's just enough. If you're going out, you know, going to do something, you just got a nice little beat real quick. Was that like 15, 20 minutes? Boom, 15 minutes.